Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Stuff back in another video today, and today the Boston Celtics beat the Detroit Pistons 128-122 to in overtime. The Pistons losing streak goes to 28 games, and man, I feel so bad for this for this Pistons organization that they still have to, you know, fight this hard to try to get a win. They lose in overtime. Even though the Celtics, they didn't have Jalen Brown in this game, still have a way three probably about 10 times better of a team than the Detroit Pistons have. Um, even with Jason Tatum, Chris Porzingis, who both had a great performance. The Pistons still played a good game tonight. Cade looked good. Uh, Jay and Ivy had a good game. And the Pistons took this one to overtime. The Pistons were up 19 at halftime, 66-47. to 47. But still, the Celtics still managed to come back in this ball game, and the Pistons losing overtime. I feel bad for Pistons fans that had to watch an extra five minutes of this ball game. Uh, had hope for this losing streak to come to an end, possibly, especially with winning by 19 at halftime and then this game going into overtime. I also feel bad for all the people that took Pistons money line that had to watch five minutes, um, five minutes, uh, five extra minutes of this ball game, uh, and potentially get a win, which would have because the Pistons was plus eight eight fifty, so. Would have won a lot of money uh, if you took Pistons money line, and you know I think I checked it. And if you would have put five dollars on it, I think you could have won on whatever, whatever website I was looking at. You could have won like four eighty five just putting five dollars on it for just for the Pistons to win this game tonight. Uh, and this is their twenty eighth straight loss. It's the longest streak in NBA history. It is being talked about this team potentially being the worst team in NBA history. And you could kind of tell tonight that they wanted to win. I mean, Cade played 43 minutes. Uh, Bogdanovich played 44 minutes. Duran played 40 minutes. They were trying to win this game. I mean, I saw Cade Cunningham. I was I watched for like a split second. I watched Cade because was, tonight I was watching Thursday Night Football. I watched Cade Cunningham go split, sit down for a Quick second, he came right back in. It was like a, it felt like a LeBron, a LeBron James moment. How you know LeBron will uh, check himself back into the game, won't even wait for the coach to tell you know to put him in. It felt like that with Kate Cunningham. I feel like they're ready to put this losing streak behind them. And you saw that tonight, trying to take out a great team on the road in the Boston Celtics and taking them to overtime. It wouldn't surprise me if this if this losing streak comes to an end, and especially with the way Kate Cunningham is playing basketball. And that man needs some help on his team. They need to do something. Either, either got to get rid of him and, and send him elsewhere, uh, send him somewhere. I think San Antonio would be a great fit next to uh, Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, I do. But either that, get rid of him or get him some help because he's talented. Last game he had 41, I believe. Now tonight he has 31 points, 9 assists, and 6 rebounds with 3 steals and 2 blocks. Shot 12 for 22 and 4 for 6 for 3. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve this. And... Um, I really hope that Pistons, as, as someone who doesn't really like the Pistons or care for the Pistons at all, I really hope this Pistons, Pistons losing streak comes an end for this team, for Cade Cunningham, for their fans. And this was a great game for the Celtics tonight, though, even though I think it's really embarrassing that they were down 19 and a half time to this Pistons team, even without Jalen Brown. 35 points for Chris Hub, Porzingis tonight with 8 rebounds. 31 points for Tatum with 10 assists, 5 steals, and 7 rebounds. 11 for 31, shooting 2 for 11 from 3. Tatum played 43 minutes. 23 points for Derek White. 12 points for Drew Holiday. For the Pistons, 31 points for Cade Cunningham. Uh, 22 points for Jaden Ivey. 17 points for Bogdanovich with 12 rebounds and 6 assists. 12 points for Alec Burks. And um, 15 points and 14 rebounds for Jalen Dern. That was it for players and double figures for the Detroit Pistons. So good win for the Celtics, although they nearly just ended the worst losing streak in NBA history by losing tonight. Um, but uh, great win for the Celtics, great comeback, and um, we'll see if that Pistons losing streak comes to an end. I think there's a chance this next game they play Saturday They have a day off. They play the Toronto Raptors. I think that could be the chance for them to end this winning streak, and especially at home. We'll see. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Your thoughts on the game in the comment section, and peace out.